What's the difference between Patrick Mahomes' bank account and a Ferrari? One is a half billion dollar machine and the other is a Ferrari. Just 25 years old, he'll make roughly $50 million every year. With so much cash, you'd expect us to target a Silicon Valley tech genius or high-level CEO. But not today. Our man is Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs' starting quarterback. An estimated $503 million 10-year deal extension was inked by the powerful athlete. Offloading such money demands huge residences, fast cars, extravagant holidays, and lots of philanthropic offerings. However, beloved Patrick spent a lot. Move over Tom Brady as we examine his spending habits. Why don't we start with his cars? A half-billion-dollar contract extension might buy your dream car. Probably a hundred of them. What would you pick? The Ferrari 812 Superfast is the right answer for the right-handed magician. Ferrari considers it the most powerful and quickest roadworthy Ferrari ever. Mahomes went all out for the car with a 788 horsepower V12 engine. This sleek beast can reach 62 miles per hour in under 3 seconds and achieve a terrifying top speed. The state-of-the-art automobile is adrenaline-packed. But you may be wondering, at what cost? The 2020 model cost $338,000. And what that means? Patrick would have had 1,488,165 supercars in his garage if he spent all of his 503 million contract deal on them. Now consider how ridiculous that is. Most would do anything for one of these bad boys. Like the 11 highest paid NFL players, former New England Patriot Jimmy Garoppolo earns $27.5 million per year for the San Francisco 49ers. Prescott, Goff, and Rodgers earn more. However, Steelers quarterback Ben Roethlisberger averages $34 million, making him the third highest earning in the NFL. Russell Wilson of the Seahawks will make $35 million edges him out. Patrick Mahomes is now the league's highest paid player, surpassing everyone else. The Texas Tech University graduate earns roughly $50 million annually, plus a $10 million signing bonus. That doubles Patriots quarterback Tom Brady's 2019 salary. Mahomes' flawless compensation exceeds his football colleagues and most of the world's highest paid athletes. Kylian Mbappe, the world's most promising young soccer player, earns $33.8 million, whereas LeBron earns $38 million without endorsements. But going back to our star, he finally reaped the rewards of his labor and bought his first home. A house tour? No, this is not a house, but a mansion. Brittany Matthews, Patrick's high school girlfriend and now wife, also lives there. Let's go in and have a look around, shall we? The 3,759-square-foot house is found in a gated, high-end neighborhood in Kansas City. Not nearly as pricey as the usual celebrity homes we've seen, at $1.9 million. But keep in mind that square footage is far less expensive in the Midwest. Comparable real estate in Beverly Hills would fetch over $4 million. While in the urban jungle of Manhattan, where open land is even harder to come by, you could even expect to pay $5 million more. That's why I think Pat got a good deal. The three-bedroom house was built in 1953 and features a large, remodeled backyard where the chief can work on his throws and where steel and silver can run around and play. It also has a beautiful floor plan created by renowned interior designer Mercy Knopf and a kitchen fit for a chef. While Patrick was content to sit back and let Brittany and Marcy take the lead on the design, the athlete insisted on one feature the 100% abstract canvas that now hangs over the hearth. The contemporary house was constructed over seven decades ago, but it is still completely equipped with cutting-edge gadgets. Google Assistant gives Pat and Brittany a morning readout of his schedule. When a digital helper is as close as a mouse click away, who needs a human one? He also has access to the home's audio, visual, and security systems. Speaking of waking up next to the one you love, one of Mahomes' biggest purchases was a ring. No, not a Super Bowl ring, but the ring he used when he proposed to his longtime girlfriend, Brittany. It boasts a dazzling emerald cut diamond weighing between 8 and 10 carats at the Chiefs' Super Bowl ring ceremony. Ironically, the ring's value has been assessed at $800,000.
The pair started dating when they were both high school students in Texas. Admit it, you find it endearing. There's no denying that a lot has changed in their lives since then. Patrick and his wife have been able to travel the world to their heart's content, now that money is pouring in from all angles. They were photographed cuddling on a luxurious boat in Cabo San Lucas after the Super Bowl party. They have also taken expensive vacations to Hawaii, Disney World, and the Lake of the Ozarks. Unlike the rest of us, the famous athlete can afford first-class tickets instead of taking the economy. Not only that, Mahomes can take a private plane whenever he likes, thanks to his airshare endorsement arrangement. With countless vacations, Mahomes is able to sport his good sense of style as he was photographed wearing a $1,000 royal blue paisley suit with black lapels at the MVP awards and a $3,700 jacket and pants pair for the cover of GQ magazine. At the Chiefs Super Bowl Triumph Parade, he was seen wearing a Rolex that cost $47,000. Pat's insatiable love for sneakers is apparent. Pat has acknowledged that he owns roughly 180 pairs of shoes and that they play a significant role in his daily life. Adidas, his sponsor as of 2017, contributed multiple pairs, including the ones he wore in his debut picture shoot to the collection. There's also a pair named the Night's Watch Ultra Boost that was inspired by Game of Thrones and many others besides. Surely with this, you might think, does he give out to others at all? Mahomes is extremely busy, but he offers to help the community by volunteering part of his time. The most expensive player in the NFL has been volunteering with a Kansas City-based charity that helps homeless veterans. Amazingly, one of the goals of the project is to construct a neighborhood of approximately 50 tiny houses to assist homeless veterans in getting back on their feet. The first 13 homes were built in 2018, and Mahomes did his part by investing time and money, possibly tens of thousands, if not more, into the project. Pat also runs a nonprofit he founded in 2019 called 15 and the Mahomes. The organization's primary goal is to help disadvantaged children. Thus, it has donated to 15 local organizations that serve young people. The Mahomes Foundation has pledged $100,000 to Kansas City, Missouri's public lunch programs for low-income families by May of 2020. As a result, he has already donated hundreds of thousands of dollars, a figure that is expected to soar into the millions shortly. So there you have it, a glimpse into how Patrick Mahomes spends his half-billion dollar fortune. From his luxury cars and homes to his charitable investments, Mahomes is living the high life. But even with all this money, Mahomes remains humble and grounded. He knows that he is fortunate to be in the position he is in, and he is grateful for all the opportunities that he has been given with. But would you do the same thing given the chance to earn half a billion dollars? Tell us more in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos about luxury and other interesting topics. Until next time, take care.